Well, it's no secret that members of Congress are on average wealthier than the rest of the country. Their average congressional salary alone weighs in at about $174,000. But of course, wealth is not just about a bi-monthly check. Rather, it's about how much you're worth. And as we're finding out, it's the net worth of lawmakers that really merits the most attention. Every year since 1990, CQ Roll Call has examined the financial disclosures of all 535 lawmakers to determine the 50 richest members of Congress. This year's report is based off of the numbers from the 2012 calendar year. So without further ado, let's take a look at which lawmakers are topping the list. Starting with number five, West Virginia Senator Jay Rockefeller. His last name says it all. Jay Rockefeller is the great-grandson of oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller, and he's clearly reaping the benefits of that oil-rich ancestry. The senator is estimated to be worth at least $83.7 million. His lofty assets include three separate trusts at J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, and the United National Bank in Charleston, all worth at least $80 million. So even though the senator has said he won't seek re-election re this year, it's likely he'll be quite comfortable in retirement. And that takes me to number four, Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal. When elected in 2010, Blumenthal stood as the wealthiest incoming member of Congress. And since then, his net worth has skyrocketed, now standing at $85.3 million. Most of his wealth comes from the family of his wife, who happens to be the daughter of real estate mogul Peter Malkin. Together, their assets include a real estate company in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and multiple Manhattan properties, including the entities that lease and operate the Empire State building. Now moving on to number three, Virginia Senator Mark Warner. Warner has been steadily moving up the money ladder over the years. This year, his net worth stands at $96.3 million, and that's about 66% of that which are held in trusts. But Warner most notably made his money early on as the co-founder of the cellular company that would later become Nextel. Now to the number two spot, Texas Representative Michael McCall. McCall is taking a step back this year, slipping from the number one spot to number two. But at $114 million in net worth, McCall is still faring pretty well. The majority of his assets are connected to his wife, who happens to be the daughter of Lori Mays, the founder of Clear Channel Communications. Now keep in mind, Clear Channel is the umbrella company that likely owns the radio station you listen to. The company operates over one thousand stations. Now finally to the number one spot this year's richest congressman, California's Daryl Issa. 2012 was a very, very kind year to Representative Issa, who saw his wealth grow over $100 million. Thanks to that year alone, the congressman's net worth has now surged well beyond every sitting congressman to $355.3 million. Before being elected to Congress, ISA made the bulk of his fortune after founding Directed Electronics, a company that manufactures car alarms. But outside of that, most of his money seems to yield from investments in the stock market. So there you have it, the top five richest congressmen. According to CQ Roll Call, strong financial markets are credited with making most members of Congress even wealthier. In fact, the median net worth of the 50 richest raised more than 17 percent this year. Now, the numbers aren't so cut and dry. There is room for interpretation of the disclosure forms that lawmakers must fill out. But there's one number that's indisputable. For the first time in history, the majority of Congress is now comprised of millionaires. So as long as the markets continue to grow, so will Congress's Millionaires Club. In Washington, Amira David, RT.